Yo, what's going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming. In today's video, I'm actually going to be going into the stats of my Black Ops 3 account, and then I am going to actually get uh, all the stats from every Call of Duty that I have ever played since Call of Duty 4, and we're going to check all those stats and combine those all and basically see how many total days played, you know, what's my average KD, what's my average win-loss, you know, are my favorite guns assault rifles or submachine guns and that kind of thing. So I just thought it'd be fun to kind of go through the stats of my Black Ops 3 account and then all the other Call of Duties kind of as an average, uh, because last night when I was playing with some friends, I actually got to level 200, and uh, I thought it would be a good time to kind of check the stats. So we're going to jump in here, and we are going to go over to my barracks and multiplayer. And basically this is my stats for Black Ops 3. I have uh, almost 37,000 kills. I have a 217 KD, uh, you know, a 409 win-loss, which, you know, that's pretty good in my opinion. Being level 200 with only 9 days, 22 hours played. Uh, obviously I have a family. I have wife and kid and stuff, and I don't get to play near as much as I probably would want to. But, hey, you know, that's life. Uh, but with the medals, I did get two nuclears, including getting the nuked out uh, player card, which is in here somewhere. I know I have it. Let's see. Da, 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 da. There it is. Nuked out. Uh, 30 kills and free-for-all without dying, which honestly was a crazy, crazy grind. That was ridiculous to get. Uh, some of the other ones I got that are like the uh, the elite ones, the relentless... Uh, Frenzy Killer, uh, get the Dark Matter. That was a crazy grind to get Dark Matter. Uh, I do not have the Gold Specialist characters because honestly, I thought that the Gold Specialist characters looked really lame anyway. So, yeah. But uh, that's pretty much all my stats in there. Now we're going to go to my actual individual combat record and basically see I have a 223 KD in public, a 137 KD in arena. I have played quite a bit of arena with some friends. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more competitive than your public matches. Uh, it, you got to take it a little bit more seriously. And uh, in the public here, we're basically going to go in here and check out my favorite guns. Obviously, in Black Ops 3, I'm more of a submachine gun player. Normally, I'm an assault rifle player, but uh, in this game, uh, most of these kills with the Vesper were before they nerfed it. You know, I had so many, so many kills with this gun towards the start of the game when it was just a monster. Uh, and then after they nerfed it, I kind of moved over to the VMP, uh, which is pretty, it's a pretty good gun, not going to lie. It's probably one of the better submachine guns in Call of Duty history. Uh, but the fact that I have a 225 KD, a 222 KD, a 215 with the Weevil, uh, 223 with the CUDA, you know, all of these, um, the Man of War and the XR2, I both have a 230 KD with. Uh, the ICR is actually the first gun in my list that I don't have a 2 KD with, but uh, a lot of these other guns, you know, I have at least a 2 KD with. And, you know, being at the MX Grand, I really didn't get it that long ago and have 931 kills with it, and honestly, this gun is a monster. It's probably one of the best guns in the game. Uh, I did a video about that re uh, previously, and honestly, you guys should check that video out. I will link that video down in the description, because this gun honestly could be one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game, uh, if you've had the luck to unlock this via the supply drops. But uh, that's all for the Black Ops 3 here, guys. Now we're going to get into some of the other stats from the other Call of Duties. All right, so instead of actually going through each Call of Duty and doing like a little segment video on each one, honestly, I thought that was going to take too long and it really wouldn't hold everybody's attention. So basically what you're looking at here is Call of Duty 4 through Black Ops 3, all nine Call of Duties, you have my kills, my deaths, and my time played for each game. And as you can see, the Modern Warfare games, honestly, out of all the Call of Duties, I played the Modern Warfare series more than anything else. Uh, I also, when I was digging through my stats on these old games, World at War, I believe the last time I was playing it, which really wasn't that long ago, uh, I think it was actually right before the launch of Black Ops 3, I actually uh, went back and started playing it just for fun, and I got hacked, so the kills, the deaths, and the time played may not be correct um, from World at War, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I did have more time on that, but also Call of Duty Black Ops 2, about halfway through the year, the game year, the cycle of Black Ops 2, a bunch of my friends were like, yo, 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 we should reset our stats, because everybody was Master Prestige. You know, I had Diamond Submachine Guns, I had Diamond Assault Rifles, and uh, the game was just a little, it was getting a little stale, so a bunch of us reset our stats. Stupidest thing I've ever done. 
Uh, before I reset my stats, I think I had multiple nuclears. I had, like I said, the diamond weapons. Um, I had easily like 13 or 14 days played and like probably 30 or 40,000 kills. Uh, but we're basically going off of the stats that we're showing when I went and checked it, which are those, which obviously those aren't true to exactly what it was, but uh, that's that's all we can go by. And uh, Advanced Warfare, honestly, I hated Advanced Warfare. The movement in that game literally did not suit me. Um, it's definitely one of the Call of Duties that I hated the most. I didn't mind Call of Duty Ghost as much, but Call of Duty Advanced Warfare really was not my thing. As you can see, only two days, you know, less than three days played. But uh, that's pretty much all for those stats, guys. Uh, next up, what we're looking at here is Call of Duty, my total stats. I basically went through all the Call of Duties, and uh, I averaged out my total KD, my total win-loss, and my overall time played throughout all the Call of Duties. And that's not counting. I know on uh, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops 1, and Modern Warfare 3, I played on a second account. Um, but I'm not counting that time. This is basically all on my primary Juan Solo account. And my overall time played, you know, on Call of Duty history for me was 123 days, 2 hours, and 37 minutes, which honestly, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't higher than that. But, you know, hey, I do kind of sort of have a life. But uh, my overall KD, obviously, I'm not no pro player. I'm not like a crazy, crazy, awesome, super tryhard. You know, it's a 181, and that's across 9 games. And when I started playing Call of Duty 4, I'll be honest, I wasn't that good. And then slowly, you know, slowly but surely, my, my skills kind of got better and better. And my KD kept going up, you know, with each Call of Duty after that. And a win-loss of a 346 over nine games, uh, honestly, that is spectacular. I know that, like, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3, I had over a 4 win-loss ratio. And in Modern Warfare 2, I believe I had almost a 5 win-loss ratio. So that's really what helped me get that up. I know in Advanced Warfare, it really kind of took that number down. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, look into my stats. You know, get to see kind of how, uh, how I play out as a player. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. And uh, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.